Look at this, Sunken 75 guys, what's up, what's going on? It is so beautiful outside that I said, you know what? Not doing work inside today, I'm getting out. It's so nice out, I cut my work pants into work shorts. I'm basically Peter Pan now. Anyways, so beautiful out that I thought to myself, we need another car. So we jumped the Mazda the other day. Jumped perfectly as always. I was gonna jump the second Mazda, but the uh, drive shaft axle things broke on the one side. So when you floor it, it literally just hard 90 left. So we're probably just gonna do another big burnout or just explode the engine with it. But for now, I've lined up another car. So I figure if I'm gonna buy another car, I might as well take one in, get some cash for it, and use that cash for the next car instead of using money from the bank, because I hate doing that. So just heading out now, down here. Uh, I'm gonna take the tires off. I already took the cat off the Jimmy. So I got flip her over. I'll see if it starts. I don't know if it will. It's been upside down for a week or so, but uh, yeah, we'll pop the tires off. We'll get it pushed over. Then whenever Brian's back from doing whatever he does best, he's gonna bring my truck down. We'll push her on, head to the scrapyard, pick up a freshie. Freshie. Look at this. If you guys are heard outside right now, finish this video, leave a comment, and then go outside and enjoy the weather. Don't watch any more videos. Just go straight outside because it's freaking beautiful out. Yes. Yes. Hey. Hey. -oh. Okay. Say. Anyways, got her flipped over. So this is what it looks like when you attempt a front flip in a jimmy, or if you just jump off something and land on your head. This is basically what will happen. So it looks like the frame bent a little i don't know does that do you guys see that arch there looks kind of funny so a bit of a mess down here i'll have to clean this up later still got that cd if anyone wants it four dollars but i uh, cut the cat off already so i don't even want to like reach in here Let's see if i can reach the key oh yeah there's nothing to her i'm not even gonna bother trying to get this thing going i don't even think i can pop the hood Look at this hood. Oh, pops itself. All right. Oh, still got the Postal Redneck sticker too. He's the guy that built us the kill switch. So if you guys haven't followed him on YouTube yet, I suggest doing so. Um, yeah, so we'll get this thing uh, pushed over there. Hopefully load it up and on with our day. Keep rolling. It just keeps getting hotter. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Got the cat cut off the Mazda. Brought this bent up piece of crap over here. Brian is finally here. The old race platinum. Let's get her loaded up. Let's get out of here. Let's pick up that freshie. Guess what we're picking up? Well, you guys already know because you probably saw the title. But uh, yeah, let's get her out of here. We are up and out of here. She is loaded up. Whew, that went out pretty easy. A lot easier than they usually do. So let's get over to the scrapyard and get rid of her. Maybe I'll find a spare window too while we're over there. New race for So this freshy car, it's way too shiny. So we figured, you know, before I take it home and take it on the highway, we should pump some holes in it. I've never done this before. <laughs> so what do we have here? Uh, an 858 CZ. Do you need the clip? I need that. See in Canada, they have to pin the clips. We don't get to have any fun. You can only fit five in these. All right, show us what you got. Scared the chickens. <laughs> Speed holes. Speed holes, exactly. Speed holes. <laughs> My turn. Here we go. <laughs> that thing's loud. <laughs> All right, pump a slug in there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's a little bigger of a hole <laughs> as the car blows up. <laughs> wow. 
Oh yeah, you blew out the window. <laughs> Whoops. Should we kick that in? Nice. I like it. That is a big hole. <laughs> I took out the radio. Chunk of the steering wheel. Jesus. I would not want to get hit with a slug. Look at that hole. Destruction right across the seat. That is ridiculous. Oh, look. A little slider. Should we slam the door real hard and the glass will go in? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't end up on the highway. All right, we got anything else to shoot? Lots. Lots and lots. All right, here we go. More speed holes. Kick on that one. <laughs> Steel round, so they should just go right through. Quick shorty here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Jeez, I think that was louder. Now that they all deflected off into the woods. Sweet. All right, well, let's get this thing loaded up and get her out of here. You gotta try this one. Someone's gonna think I got in like a hit and run in this thing. Maybe I was. It's always a hit and run. <laughs> Woo! All right, last three slugs. Aim for that back door there. Hopefully you didn't hit my GoPro. Load her up. We're good to go. We got the speed holes. Compound made her finally. What a drive! So I was halfway home there, and uh, I was coming uh, through Embro. Well, I was right before Embro, and I seen some uh, some young guys. Well, young guys and girls on the side of the road, stranded. They were just looking at the spare tire. I was like, you know what? I'll give them a hand since I had all my power tools with me anyway. So I pulled over. Choo, 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 choo. None of them have ever changed a tire before. I changed four today. Well, five actually. So. Show you a little video, bing. A little flat tire on the side of the road. These guys, quick fix. Always bring your tools. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Easy peasy. Pay it forward, kids. Help people out. Don't be an asshole. Anyways, um, yeah, so I gotta get ready. I'm going to a wedding. Well, not tonight, but I'm going to the location. So I swing up to Bayfield tonight. I cannot stand in the shade. It is Mosquito City in the shade, so. So I got the tires from the Jimmy. We'll keep those in case we need them down the road, but. I'll unload the Ford real quick, do a few laps. There's no battery in it, so, but I can just use my booster and just plug her. Hot wire right in there, so we'll get her going. Hopefully she runs. We didn't, we started it and we moved it 10 feet, but it didn't really go anywhere, so hopefully it runs. If not, I just bought a car full of boat holes, so. Let's get, it, get at her and get after it. Fire the girl up. Oh. False alarm. Look at the hole in the steering wheel. Wow. Oh, this thing's standard. I didn't even realize. Apparently, they're standard Ford Fusions. Who would have known? All right. R for race. I think I'm in race. Let's go for a quick toot. Gotta change gears. <laughs> Woo! 
feel like I was just in a, uh, a shoot and run here. All oh, these freaking bull holes. People were laughing at me on the highway. Yeah, so funny. Anyways. Fun little car, someone shot the radio out. Shot a chunk of the steering wheel. Shot the back seat out. have so much fun. Alright, let's park this thing. I'm already late. We'll put her with the old, the old fleet here. Bing! Alright, for race again. Gotta get my NOCO out of the hood. Alright, good to go. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up in my room. Got my suit under there, some plaids, bunch of stuff, computer, because I'll probably have to work. Gotta change my clothes. I should probably shower. I stink. So, oh, all the windows are open in the house and she is breezy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Glad I could help some people out today and glad we could get a fresh car and pump some bullet holes in it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for videos to come, let me know. Um, we will be getting a lot more cars, a lot more car jumps. I'm glad the weather's getting better and it's sunny and hot and not raining every day. I think it's supposed to rain Sunday, but other than that, yeah, have a fantastic day. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And we'll see you on the other side. Later, guys.